Okay, welcome back everybody to another video where we are going to generate some hyper-realistic images using Magenny AI and Chat GPT. Now, this is a prompt that I just experimented with. You can see that this is a great futuristic battlefield, which is, um, so my imagination was it was, it was going to be filled with advanced technology and weapons and showing some smoke in the air at the back end and of course the woman in the front and the female soldier which is uh, who is very determined and who is very focused to kill the enemy and this is the complete description that i produced using chat gpt and here you can see the result of the prompt so great image great detail um and the scene itself, nice background, and ChatGPT did it well for us. So we are going to do some more experiments. We are going to at least do a couple more experiments to see if ChatGPT works for us. Now you can see these all kind of images which are showing up. So yeah, nice stuff. People are just creating all the all the things that they can possibly imagine. And so we're gonna pull up chat GPT. Um, so yeah, we're going to write a prompt from our previous video tutorial as well. So you can see that this is the prompt that I used in my previous video and we're gonna continue in the same fashion. Um, so I'm going to ask chat GPT to write a prompt from me to create an AI or maybe I have to train an AI to create an image of a beautiful woman in where, where she should be in the middle of the road the woman is um, not maybe in the middle of the road Maybe I would want her uh, someplace else, someplace decent. And in the middle of a field, green field. And add more description about the woman's looks in that song. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's. I hate it when there are so many, so much thought process into the prompt and all you will end up will be with an error. So we're going to refresh the chat GPT. We're gonna have to wait for a while. And okay, it refreshes. Let me copy the prompt and try to produce that again. Huh. Okay. Generate an image of a beautiful woman standing in the middle of a lush green field surrounded by tall grass and wild flowers. The sun is shining down on her, her casting a long roll on her face. The woman in the image has a long, wavy brunette hair. That So she's a brunette that falls down her back in a soft wave. Her skin is warm, golden hue. Eyes are deep brown that sparkle in the sunlight. She has a strong jawline lips and high cheekbones that add to her overall beauty okay yeah it's enough description it's enough description for me to actually you know give to my journey and hopefully my journey is going to produce a realistic image for us right so i'm going to type the command from the journey prompt it might be the prompt that we just created and we're going to send it towards the mid journey bot we're going to wait for what Majani comes up with. It's going to be an interesting one. In the meanwhile, we are going to enjoy what people are creating. A lot of stuff. And a lot of good stuff, I should say. So let's see. We'll have our fingers crossed for what comes up for us.
Okay, it's gonna looks like it's gonna take a while. Okay, come on. Oh, did it go to sleep or what? Where's my job? Oh, there it is. Okay. Something is coming up. Now, oh, come on. Should be up somewhere. Is it up or is it down? Should be up, I believe so. Oh, a lot of images loaded. So I have to go down. Oh, yeah. Which one do you like the most? So I think this glass looks better. So I'm going to go with that. Or maybe I'm going to ask the computer to do a redo of this one. Yeah, maybe. No, just not, not the redo. Just maybe pick up V3. Let's see. Ah, oh, look at the bot. So we are going to wait a little bit more. Fingers crossed here. Okay, something is coming up. Ah, that's nice. Whew. Just lost the image. It has to be down somewhere. Yeah, there she goes. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to probably pick this one. Or maybe this one. This this one actually looks more realistic. Yeah, V1. We're gonna go with V1. No upscales, please. What are they doing? Oh, okay. Trying to create all, all kind of things. Okay, where did that go? Yeah, looks good. Still going good so far. So upscale two and try to close it. It's well, you one, you two, yeah. Did it upscale or not? I'm not too sure about it. Uh, I just clicked it. No. One new message. Let's check it out. No, it wasn't mine. Probably click didn't go through. I'm gonna try it again. U1, U2, this U3. Which one I picked up? Maybe this one. Or this one. And this one. Yeah, U2, that was U2. So where are we with it? Yep, this. So the bot just caught the command. Okay, so now we are going to, once this is done, so we're going to create, um, we're going to try another prompt. And think about another scene. So, let's see. Oh, where, the, where is our image? Oh, the job is not started yet. Yeah. So it probably can take a while. Uh, 
in the meanwhile, okay, so while well, the job actually gets done, so you're going to create another prompt for another scene. In the meanwhile, we're going to think hard about it. And just keep an eye on our stuff as well. I just lost it for a minute. Okay, we can reduce the size of the image. Oh, sorry, size of the window. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's, it's showing up anyway. Ah, that's nice. Yeah, works for me. Awesome. Okay, so we are going to open that in another web window. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Job done for you. We have another job for you. Okay, so <clears throat> another try. Another try for um, for another prompt. Okay, we're gonna copy the same structure. So it becomes uh, a single prompt. The way to ask Chat Chat GPT to produce more descriptions about different kind of scenes, so, but the way it becomes pretty much seamless. So it becomes the kind of process for you. So you write a prompt, so you ask Chat GPT to write a prompt for yourselves to train an AI to create um, an image of a beautiful woman. I'm focusing on women, why is that? So, and beautiful woman and a man. Uh, on um, on where and a man in let's say in the middle of or maybe yeah just keep a woman in the middle of the desert in the middle of the desert right so let's see Was golden desert, the sun is high in the sky. The woman in the image has long wavy. Oh, it, it remembers the context and it's giving me more details now. Her skin is warm, golden hue, and her eyes are deep blue that sparkle in the sunlight. She has a strong jawline, full lips, and eye cheekbones. It's a good description. She's wearing a flowy baggy cotton that billows in the wind. The cotton has intricate ethnic inspired embroidery and bedding. Gosh, wow. It's, it's a lot of detail for her. Um, significant detail for her clothes, actually. Okay, so we're going to copy that. We're not going to do any changes um, to the descriptions. So we are going to, of course, you can actually do some, I mean, as many changes as you want for the description. So we are going to send that prompt over to missjourney.com produce a good image for us. Let's wait now. I think that I'm more waiting than more talking here. So I apologize for that. But yeah, that's part of the process. You have to wait. You have to look at the image and you have to tweak the image. And then you have to process it. So, But you have to wait before everything can start happening. Let us see. Okay. Something is coming up. Yeah, nice photographs. Nice, nice images, really. So 93%. Yeah, it should be done by now. I, I'm, I'm not sure why it's so slow. Okay, I think it, it might be done. I'm not interested in your images. I'm looking for my images, please. So where are my images? Oh yeah, for sure. That is flawless. Yeah. Good stuff, folks. Good stuff, really. So I'm going to do an upscale of U3 
and then I'm going to do an upscale of U2 as well. Righto. And just to avoid the length of this video, just to keep it sh short enough, I'm going to close the video right here. So, but just before closing, I would want to show you the real results. I, hopefully, I'm able to, I'll be able to get those results in uh, a good time, in a fair amount of time. So let's wait for a couple more minutes. And not loading yet, but we probably can wait, right? So we, we can wait and talk about how to generate those prompts, right? So, and where's my chat GPT window? So, yeah, I'm going to get this prompt for chat GPT in a separate prompt from a, for the chat GPT with, through which you can just do your own stuff and put some your creativity into, in, into this line. And I'll put it in the in the description of the video, and of course, so this is going to help you create ultra realistic images um, in the in the mid journey. So let's see. This was our original image, so we upscaled to version two and version three. Oh yeah, looking good. Looking good so far. Uh, well, it changes the looks a bit, but yeah, I'm going to I'm going to choose this one or this one. Maybe yeah, this one. Okay, so either one doesn't matter. So where did this go? Oh, come on, please. Yeah, the hair on the first one looked a bit more cool. So I'm going to open that in the end of the window. Yep, cool, works. All right, so we have our three images which we created. And all three look fascinating, but it becomes my own graphics collection and these become my own proprietary images. And that's how I can, I, that's how and why I own complete rights, rights to these images, right? And of course, you can create a ton of your images and do whatever you want to do with them. All right, folks, that's pretty much it for this video. And we are going to meet in the next one. So you take very good care of yourself and have a good rest of your time. I'll um, just walk off from here now for now and we'll see you in the next next video thank you very much take good care and bye bye